Okay, so hi guys and welcome back to another video and today we have my annual what I got for my birthday. As you can see from behind me, I'm 20 now. I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday, sent me a card, everything like that. I have been so overwhelmed with the love that I received this year. Super excited to do this video. I've been absolutely spoiled rotten. I'm not going to do the usual disclaimer because you guys should know by now that if you don't like these videos, don't watch them. Um, I absolutely love watching these videos. They give me gift ideas. They give me ideas on what to get myself, what to get my friends. So I absolutely love these videos because I'm super nosy. So yeah, this has been one of my highly requested videos. So yeah, we're going to just go ahead and do it. So make sure that you like and subscribe. Turn the notification bell on so you'll be alarmed when I upload any of the content. And yeah, let's just get straight into the video. So yeah, start off with most of my friends and family got me money, which I'm super grateful for. So the first thing that I got for my birthday is I got a brand new iPhone. So this is the iPhone 13 Pro Max and it looks like this. It matches my balloons so nicely. So yeah, I actually picked this up for myself as a little present. I'm one of them people where I cannot justify expenses like this unless it's for something. So yeah, I decided to pick up the new iPhone for my birthday as a treat and then got a really cute skinny day like daisy case on the back it's really cute i love it i'm gonna be going through this fast because there is so much stuff so then the next thing that i got myself is i got myself these gorgeous balloons they're really cute they've got like, little butterflies on them i'm so sorry if my face looks greasy the light is i literally just put powder on my face but the light is not doing me any favors and then the next thing i got isn't really a present but i just needed an excuse to put it in i got this absolutely gorgeous cake i'll put a picture on the screen now it is absolutely stunning it is like the prettiest cake i've ever had it's absolutely gorgeous last year i did this video like person by person what they got me but this year i've just categorized it into like the things that they are like jewelry clothes and stuff like that i feel like that's a lot easier to go through it that way so yeah i'm just gonna do that so the first category is jewelry i am oh my god i am just so excited to show you guys oh my god i've been absolutely spoiled first things i got from vivian westwood which is one of my favorite brands i was actually lucky enough to get two things from here so these are actually like stunning pieces i haven't seen these like anywhere ignore my nails they are horrifically grown out but this is the vivian westwood bracelet it is gold and white and i have not seen a gold and white one before and i absolutely love it so i got a bracelet they match my earrings really well and then i got the and then i got the necklace version of it in the white and gold as well these are absolutely beautiful pieces i'm so lucky i'm super super grateful i'm just trying to get through everything really fast and then oh my god I literally have, this is my first piece from Fendi. I absolutely love Fendi. I still think it has the classy element like Chanel and Diorgi, but it just has something like a little bit different, a little bit more modern, I'd say. Came in this really cute box. It is so bougie. There's just the tags and everything. And then when you open it, it is this gorgeous bracelet and it has the white and gold F logo all down it. It is so gorgeous. How well does that match my Vivian Westwood jewelry? Oh my God. I'm obsessed. Still on the category of jewellery, I got some absolutely gorgeous pieces from Pandora. I got this really cute sparkling heart necklace. I just like how simple it is. It's not too over the top. I really like that. It's really cute. And then I got a lovely little jewellery box from Pandora as well. I've had my eye on these for a long time. And of course, in the grey. And um, this is actually the travel one, which is so good. I had my eye on the bigger one, but I actually think this is better because I'm gonna be going on holiday and I wanna take like really nice jewelry pieces, but I needed like a travel case. I've just ripped that. So this is like a mirror in here. And then you've got that slot. You can take it out. There's a little pouch in the bottom. I absolutely am obsessed with this. I think I really need, I don't even have a jewelry box. I just kind of keep them in the boxes they came in. Um, but I really needed a travel jewellery box. So this was this is so, so helpful. Thank you so much. So yes, that is everything in the category of jewellery. I think I'm going to do this one next just because it's like a random piece on its own. I know I said I wasn't going to say who they're actually from. Um, but this is from my mum and my dad. Every year they get me something from Disney Traditions. Um, because when we used to, we used to go to Florida most years. And we'd pick up like a really nice snow globe or like a figure. Um, from each park and then because of covid and stuff and also because we want to like explore new places we haven't been florida in 
a few haven't been floral during like a few years um so every year she buys me one of these disney traditions so last year if you watched my birthday haul she got me a beauty and the beast one and then this year oh it's so cute Don't be shy. That is a horrible noise. Come on, I just want to show you. Okay, it's out, it's out. So yeah, last year she got me the Beauty and the Beast like storybook one. Um, and this year she got me Ariel, but it's in like a literal seashell. Like I have a lot of the storybook ones, but I've never had one like this. It is so adorable and the detail is like amazing. So we've got Ariel and Eric. Flounder, Sebastian, Ursula, I can't say her name, Ursula, and her eels, and then King Triton. She got it because we're going on holiday to like the Caribbean this year, so it's very like ocean based and stuff. So, as much as I do love going to Florida, very excited for where we're going this year, and it's just so beautiful. This will be going on my Disney shelf. I have a lot of Disney snow globes and everything on that shelf. Thank you so much for this, it's absolutely stunning. The next category is shoes, but I've got a hat in here. Um, I got a New York Yankees hat, I really wanted one of these. Um, I just really like the logo. I think it's very simple, but I think it's really trendy. It was sold out for ages and I really wanted to get my hands on it. So I'm so glad I got that for my birthday. Okay, now this is shoes. So, some of these, if you're paying attention, some of you guys would have seen this before because this was something that I picked up for myself. Um, but I just kept it in the box ready for my birthday. I got these really cute high top Converse, but they're the ones with like the really thick um, sole because I'm quite small. So I like Air Forces and shoes with the chunky sole because it gives me like a bit more height. Cut in this side, it's like a gorgeous brown and then we've got a nude colour on the other side. I really, really love these so that's why i treated myself to oh my gosh i didn't realize how many sliders i've got i had no sliders so i put sliders on my birthday list and now i have three um so the first ones i have are these really nice ls ones i really did want these i wanted a pair that i could scuff up uh, on the beach and stuff like i wanted some that wasn't too bothered getting dirty so i put these on my wish list and they've got like pretty little bows on them so yeah i'm really happy with those i actually got two pairs of the yeezy slides so the first pair that i got were these really really bright green pair so I love them. I really want some easy slides. They're so comfortable. So I've always, to be fair, when these first came out, I absolutely hated them. They looked like prison sliders to me. But then my boyfriend bought me them and he was like, you've got to try them on. And if you like them, you can have them for your birthday. Um, and as soon as I tried them on, I was like, oh my gosh, these are the most comfortable shoes I have ever worn. And they literally are like, these are the most comfortable shoes ever. Um, so yeah, he got me these like really loud colour. So if you know me, I'm like neutrals or neutrals as much as i absolutely love these i feel like i can't wear them all year round i feel like these would be excellent holiday because they're a bit of a funky color they're a bit out there i don't know what the colorway is glow green or something like that and then so ellis's friend literally saved my life with these he's absolutely amazing thank you rohit um, but with the Yeezy slides, you can't just buy them like for retail. You have to enter like a raffle and a certain amount of people will win them. And I have such bad luck with it. And so does Alice, to be honest. We literally never win anything. That's why there's always resellers. So if you, if you don't win the raffle, I think these retail for £60. But if you don't win the raffle, you have to pay like reseller prices of like 150 And there's no way I'm doing that. So Ellis is from Rohit because he buys so much from these raffles. Because he, he loves these shoes like Ellis. Because he buys so much from these raffles, he kind of wins every time. He's really lucky. So I asked him if he could enter for me and he won them. He won the black pair. I think it's called, please don't laugh at me. I don't know if I'm saying it right. It's O-N-Y-X. Onks. Onks? I have no clue how to pronounce it, but it is the black pair. So as much as I love my glow green pair from Ellis, I really wanted a more neutral pair that I could wear like throughout the whole year. So Rohit managed to win me the black pair, which I was so, so excited about. So thank you so much for doing that for me. So yeah, I got three pairs of sliders. I had none and now I have three. So amazing. A few pairs of shoes are from River Island. My birthday was maybe a week ago when this is going up, um, but I got gifted, like but like I said at the start of the video, I got gifted a lot of money and vouchers and stuff. So I really wanted to spend them and then show you guys what I got because then it'd be like more in the video. So yeah, I went shopping a few days ago. River Island had a very nice sale on. I got a lot of stuff in the sale. So the first ones that I... Oh no, they have paint on them. Oh, 
probably while they're in the sale. I've got these really cute sand coloured heels and they have the like gold mirrored bit. They're really, really cute. They look gorgeous on. Um, so yeah, I thought these were a really cute, comfortable heel for when I go on holiday. As you can see, I was really liking this straw colour. So I picked them up in some like espadrille sandals. These are like so comfortable. And like I said, I like the thick sole because it gives me a bit more height. Whereas like the flat ones just make me look really tiny. So yeah, I like the ones with a bit of a wedge. The last pair of shoes I got were like the black versions of them. Really cute. They look so nice on and like they're so comfortable. Yeah, that is all the shoes that I got for my birthday. I don't even know where to move on. I think the next section is going to be pillows of a weird one but we'll go with it the next thing i got was a memory foam pillow this was on my wish list um because we have me and ellis have a memory foam mattress ellis has a memory foam pillow that i actually got him for his birthday so i really wanted one to complete the set so i'm so glad that i've got this thank you so much okay and then on the theme of pillows <laughs> my boyfriend got me a squish mallow which is so cute and you'll see why i put a picture on my screen i can't really show you because they're kind of dying now um, but my favourite flowers ever are white roses and then my favourite colour is orange they actually bought them separately and put them together like these orange and white roses they are absolutely gorgeous and then while he was out he picked up like a matching white and orange kind of tie dye squishmallow and this is like a really cute dragon and he is so big but it was just the thought like my boyfriend's obviously got me so much stuff um, but this one I felt like he needed credit for. It was just so thoughtful and the way he got like my favourite roses and then matched it with a really cute Squishmallow because every year he gets me like a plushie. And yeah, we've got quite a few adding up now, but every year he gets me one. So yeah, super, super grateful for that. I just went to open the next box of stuff. This is not mine. I think this is Alice's football. He went and bought football yesterday. But yeah, nice new football in my presence. So yeah, it's looking pretty cool. Okay, so the next category I'm going to do is like beauty. Um, I've got a lot of stuff to show. First thing that I got is a new perfume. I've wanted this perfume for the longest time. It's called La Vie Est Belle. And I literally have just noticed this. So it says La Vie Est Belle and then it has Braille, which that's so good. The sun's coming out weird, so sorry if it's messing with the lighting. I've wanted this perfume for the longest time. It smells incredible. This is what it looks like. I got the 100ml one. This is what it looks like. The bottle is so pretty. Definitely one of my favourites. My top two are Olympia by Paco Rabanne and the original Jean Paul Gaultier. You guys know what I mean. The body, the body shaped one. They are my two favourites and it's quite similar to that. But it just stays on so much longer than them two. So yeah, this perfume is it's at the top of my favourites, I can't lie. Really wanted a new summer perfume, so I've been sorted out there. I've heard so many good things about this, so I'm so excited. Um it's the Mark Hill Pick and Mix. It's the Mark Hill Pick and Mix one. So this one is the handle. And then I've got two um like attachments so i think you just like swap them around on the wand which is so cool because then you don't have to buy like each like you don't have to buy each thing separately so you've got the wand and then i think these attach so this one is first is the textured waver which i mean it looks a bit funky when i first opened this i was like whoa what's going on here but yeah it is a waver and the next one i got is the big jumbo curl barrel so yeah these are really cute ah. So yeah, these are the two barrels that I got to go with the wand. So very excited to try those out. The next thing was actually so thoughtful. Like the thoughtful gifts are the ones that I remember the most. So this one, the next one is a tangle teaser. It's like coconut scented. And I remember I went to Asda with my mum and I smelt it and I was like, oh my God, this is incredible. And it was literally just like such a short thing. She went back and picked it up for me, which is like, oh, I just love when people remember things. It's just so cute. I didn't even know they did this, but I got a gift voucher for my nail shop i'm not gonna the address is on the back so i got a gift voucher for my nail shop which i didn't even know they did gift vouchers thank you so much for that i really need to get my nails on for holiday so this has come at like the perfect time okay the next thing i've got is i've got so many face masks from so many different people so we've got three panda ones because everyone knows i love pandas got a garnier moisture balm these are so cute it's like a pumpkin spice one two of these ice cream ones Garnier Nutribar Milky one. Look at these, they're like pancakes and a cookie. And then 
this is so funny it's technically for my birthday but i had to trade my brother for them because i took my brother to go shopping and i wasn't really watching him properly he was picking up face masks like this was a quite a while ago he's picking up face masks and we just went and bought them i didn't realize he actually picked up a boob mask and a bum mask i think he just went because it said melons and peach he was like oh i like melons and i like peach my brother's seven so i was like you know what we will swap them out i don't think he realized that it was a bum mask and a boob mask so i was like oh archie i'd really like them for my birthday could i have them for my birthday and he was like oh okay then i kind of pushed him into giving them me for my birthday because i was like you don't want to be using them on your face archie so yeah that was that was so funny all of the story watch little children when they're buying stuff because i didn't even see these and he's managed to pick up the strangest thing in the shop but still you know cute birthday present i've got a really cute yankee candle smells incredible got a bunch of these clips because i literally wear them every day they're a godsend so someone was clearly taking notes got my favorite nars concealer in the shade creme brulee this is just the nars radiant creamy concealer everyday go-to i really need stocking up on that so thank you very much then the next thing i got i've wanted for so long and my brothers put their pocket money together to get it it was so cute this is the victoria's secret train travel case and i thought this would be perfect to travel to put my toiletries and stuff so it's actually like a four in one so this so you've got like this one and then the two ones at the bottom and then they can all come out and you can just use like the big clear one so it's like a four in one and it's so cool and i really really needed something like this to keep all my toiletries like nice and organized when i go away so yeah thank you so much this was so cute because i wasn't expecting them to put like they have like a certain amount of pocket money each week and they just saved it so i could get like something that i really wanted oh i was like oh that was just like so sweet so 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 grateful for this look at the bag my brother's put it in it says you are my sunshine so cute. okay moving on the next category is bags because i think everyone knows how much i love bags so everyone got me bags the first one i actually got myself i really needed it so it's from a brand called abot i really can't say brand so please don't come for me it's from a brand called abot lighten am i saying that right i don't think i'm saying that right abot lion doesn't sound right um i'll say what it's called on the screen but they do like um personalized things so i got a really cute bag with a km on it's a beach bag i think this print's called like raffia or something and that's what all my sandals are in so everything is gonna match so gorgeously so yeah this was a little bit more pricey so i did purchase this myself instead of putting it on like my wish list um i feel really guilty putting like expensive stuff on my wish list so um yeah i purchased this one myself really really cute i thought this is gonna look gorgeous so the first one that i got is adorable i'm actually doing a lot of hauls soon um because a lot of the bags are from new look so i'm doing a massive new look haul soon so if you want to see the bags like in closer detail make sure to keep an eye out for my new look haul because i'm going to be going through these like pretty fast so the first bag that i got is from skinny dip and it's like this gorgeous ocean waved one it's got a little dolphin mirror on it it's really really cute gold chain i got this really cute river island like crossbody bag i think i'm going to wear this to the airport because i really wanted a crossbody bag my bag won't get stolen or anything i needed one that i could like properly cross over me and it has a little card holder there i literally just noticed that now this slot opens up and then you've got a slot inside so yeah this is a really cute bag i love this my family knows me incredibly well then i got a brand new river island purse which i think i feel like everyone's been stalking me because everything just matches so perfectly like look at this print this is the exact print that matches with literally everything i bought it's so gorgeous and then they also got me the bag to match that purse which is really cute and then it comes with a longer body strap got this really cute pink bag with the gold detailing and then there's also a white one as well so these are super cute and then i think a final bag is this really cute orange clutch because everyone knows orange is my favorite color um and i have a lot of gold jewelry as well so a lot of people do get me stuff with like little gold finishings which is really cute so yeah thank you guys that's so cute so i think that's all the bags i just feel so incredibly lucky everyone has just spoiled me rotten but i'm going to show you small one first so for ages i've really wanted the suitcases from hb london i really wanted a nice suitcase but i didn't want to get like a ted baker one or a like designer one because it would just get stolen so i went for a personalized one from hb london um, because I feel like if it has your initials on it someone's less likely to steal it I'm gonna have to just kind of show you it 
because it's so heavy so this is the little cabin one these are just the dust bags on it I've got it in this really cute nude marble and it just says km on it for Kelly may um so this is the cabin suitcase that i can take as hand luggage i've got the exact same print but it's in the really big suitcase so this is like the biggest size they do oh my gosh i've got to put it back now right the next category is food um i'm ashamed to admit that there's not much left i have ate most of it so the only things that are left are my favourite Gillian, Julian, I don't know how you pronounce them, chocolates. I've got a really cute note on there. <laughs> Happy 20th birthday. And then there's like a really cute note underneath from it. So that is super cute. Then this is literally the only stuff that's left. Better not have stolen more sweets. He has, doesn't he? He's taken them. Oh, he's taking them downstairs. Okay, so we got them. Then we got my favourite toffee crisp and then i love the caramac bars and then dairy milk have come out with some no not dairy milk um and then cadbury's have come out with something similar the caramel so a lot of people got me these it's very nice it tastes literally exactly like caramac and then my absolute favorite i had four bags now we're down to one and a half has been opened this is dried pineapple and papaya i absolutely love dried fruit i know it's not as healthy but i absolutely love it um especially papaya it is just oh it is incredible so i've gone through these bags like crazy fast they are so nice um and the only place you can get them now well the only place they used to do them at asda and now they only do them at holland and barrett so quite a few people got me these quite a few people took the trek down to holland and barrett so thank you very much guys i really appreciate it and then the last category is clothes it's quite a big one so don't get up yet so let me just organize it to be honest i'm quite surprised with the amount of people that bought me clothes most of it was my boyfriend and my mom but i'm still surprised because i'm really picky with clothes it's like they've hit the nail on the head perfectly which i was so surprised about because i'm normally so picky so the first thing that i got was from the white company and i've wanted this for ages but it is the waffle robe in grey i'm a very tactile person i like touching things and this waffle material i really i really just love the way that it feels my boyfriend got this for me and it was supposed to be 55 pounds but we actually went down to vista village and he got it for 36 very happy with that and he got it at an absolute bargain as well so if you guys like the white company robes definitely go to vista village because they have them a lot cheaper there than on the actual white company website so i've only got one remaining because i've spent the rest but literally about six people got me zara gift cards they obviously know that is the way to go with me um, i've only got one left because the rest have actually been spent so i'm going to go through the bits that i use my zero zara gift cards for so the first thing that i picked up was this really cute top it's like their seamless normal tops but it has like all the jewels at the bottom it is so pretty okay these are on hangers just because they do crease quite bad so i've got two of these i got two of these rope dresses they actually don't look very nice well they don't look very nice off but they look insane on so i got the green one and it, when it ties up at the waist it looks so nice and they're so pretty so i got the green rope one i'm not normally a pink person but i absolutely loved how they looked so i picked up the pink version of it as well so yeah i think that's everything that i spent my zara gift cards on because zara is quite pricey the lighting's got a bit weird so i apologize so then i also got another dressing gown which i got this exact same one for christmas from my sister but she bought me the turquoise one and then i actually got the plum one for my birthday these are like the satin silk robes with the lacy floaty sleeves they are so gorgeous and they're so comfortable on so i got the same one in this gorgeous plum color so thank you <laughs> so much i said this is my mum but she absolutely hit the nail on the head so she picked me up two gymshark leggings first one is a black pair because i absolutely love wearing black clothes and then she got me this really cute ombre set so it's like gray at the top and then it goes into like pink really cute so thank you mum and then i've got a bunch of these river island shorts which are going to be so perfect for holiday i do quite like the look of denim shorts but i have quite chunky legs when i wear denim shorts i literally have to like pull them down like every five minutes because they just like ride all the way up so i much prefer the fabricy floaty shorts and she knows this so she picked me up these gorgeous ones from river island so these are the first ones and then we've got a really cute cheetah print which is gorgeous and then these are quite funky but i actually really like them different but i quite like them 
she got me this really cute gold belt as well which i think i'm gonna put around like a lot of my like silk dresses to like cinch it in at the waist she got me a really cute underwear set it's like lemons how cute is that i love that i got a moda minx bikini and it's orange as well which is just gorgeous so it's got the bottoms with the little jewels that's the top the triangle bikini and then it had these cute little accessories with it it has this really cute headband which matches and it has this really cute like orange wrap skirt which goes over it which is so cute i love that that is like my favorite thing ever okay and then the last thing um ellis's mom actually put money towards for me because um i really wanted this bikini for holiday um it was off asos it's a tommy hilfiger bikini it's absolutely stunning but on asos they do like a mix and match thing and i thought it was like can't remember how much it was now i think it's like 40 i think it's like around 40 pounds per piece but that's like stupid money so when i did like mix and match i thought it was 40 for both so i was like okay i don't mind doing that and then when i checked my bank i was like so i have the asos app so i literally just do like face id and then it goes straight through um and then i checked my bank and i was like 80 pounds was 80 pounds come out of asos and um <laughs> turns out it was 40 pounds per piece around that mark anyway and i was like are you joking and I find everyone was just like, we'll just return it. But ASOS returns are actually a nightmare, I find anyway. I find that a lot of the time I don't get my money because like they just never process the return. I don't know if anyone else has had that look with ASOS, but a lot of the times I can't return because of how long it takes to return. Um, so I think Ellis must have told his mum or something. So she actually put a chunk of money towards this, which absolutely saved my butt. So thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate that. And then the last thing I got was my birthday dress, which I did wear in the photos on my Instagram. And they're both the same. They're just from Club L London. So it's like the one shoulder wrenched ones. So I got it in brown and then I also got it in black as well. But this one hasn't been taken out. Um, I just think I'll wear this on holiday or something. So yeah, I got two Club L London dresses. And yeah, I think that's everything. I got spoiled with gift cards and money. Um, which I have spent on some of the bits which I showed you here and yeah I got so many cards so many messages from you guys so honestly thank you so so much I went through that really fast I don't want you guys to think that I'm ungrateful at all it is just a lot I don't want you guys to be sat here for two hours while I go in detail about everything but yeah I mean I've been so spoiled this year thank you so much you guys i'm sorry if i've missed your present out i know there's some people i haven't seen yet by the time this video goes out like i probably would have seen more people but this video has been like filmed earlier so uh, if your present isn't in here i'm so sorry i have not forgot i probably just haven't seen you yet um but yeah thank you so much to everyone that wished me a happy birthday i had the best time ever i know some people probably would have noticed i haven't uploaded in like a month um there has been a lot of personal and family issues that have been going on i'm so sorry that i kind of cut you guys dead for a while um but yeah i'm just gonna try and upload as much as i can to be honest i hope you guys understand that there's just a lot of stuff that's going on right now but my birthday has been very nice i've been surrounded by so much love um but yeah thank you so much guys for watching make sure that you like and subscribe turn the notification bell on so you'll be alarmed when i upload any other content follow me on instagram and yeah i will see you soon for another video thank you bye